What's up guys, so for the longest time I've always used the Logitech G Pro as my gaming mouse, but recently I switched to the Model O Minus, and I gotta say I love the mouse very much. It's a very good mouse, but the only problem is it doesn't work anymore. So, well I understand the cable comes disconnected from the mouse, and I have an email chain to show you guys about what causes this issue, and I'm going to show you what they did to fix this issue for me. So what they did was they gave me a credit for the full amount of the mouse, including shipping and tax and all that shit, to let me get a replacement. The problem is, is if you know anything about this mouse, is it's always sold out. And the only ones they have available right now are the gloss finish, which is like $10 more. So I wasn't happy. So I asked them... Did they have any RMA units and they showed me a screenshot here of their inventory that no they don't have any RMA units and they need to order more you can see right here but I also asked them why does the mouse break and they referred me to a transparency report which is right here and it says here that this issue has a small percentage of the mice and potentially due to a faulty cable batch during production and that <clears throat> they will have all future batches shipping in late november early december will have a new cable that they already do sell on their website and um we'll fix that issue so my thought is well if i this cable is truly bad and I can buy the new cable, and they issued me a credit to their store for the full amount of the mouse. I could just buy the new cable, slap it in here. The mouse should work. All right, so to tear down the mouse, you have to remove the skates from the mouse. And there should be screws under here that will come out, and then this top housing should just lift right off. So, gotta remove the skates first. Pretty, pretty easy. Now, the thing that's going to kind of suck is putting these skates back on because now that you've taken it off, the, the adhesive won't be as sticky. So I might have to get new skates too now. We'll see. Okay, got two screws on the back off, and freaking cable. It separates rather easily. Now you should have two cables connecting the bottom and top together. You gotta watch out for these, you don't yank them. Yeah, there they are. Right here. There's two ribbon cables. Hang out right there. Gotta unplug those to actually take the top off. So let's do that. There's the cable itself. Yeah. I'm not gonna take those cable ribbon cables off. I don't really need to. I just need to get this out. That's all that really matters. That lifts off like that. All I gotta do is unclip this right here. And then my job's complete. Okay. Cable's out. Real simple. You saw it takes no time. So you got your three screws in there. Plug this in. Is that already going? No, there's no way. Okay, there we go. I have this spot where you route the cable. I like that. Yeah. Well, if I put this in first, then I would know exactly where I need to route it. It goes there. And this needs to go right here. I'll get that in there. Okay. And the next one. Okay. 
Um, like so. All right, there you go. There's your new cable. Easy. Okay, time to test out the mouse. Right, that worked. Cool, it works. However, there is one other step you need to do if your cursor doesn't move to boot up the software. Well, you actually first need to reinstall the software, run it as admin, and then if your cursor does not move, you need to hit restore and apply. Okay, so needless to say, I didn't find anything wrong with the board itself. Um, Although I did notice that not all these switches are actually on run. Only seems to be half of them. The side buttons right here are actually some other brand. Guano, I don't know what that is. I don't really know switches too well. But um, somewhere along this line, this cable is actually defective. If I had to take a guess, this right here crimped really hard, and I believe it might be pinching the wires. Other than that, you know, it's just straight wires. What, what could possibly be wrong? So, after a long email chain with their tech support, customer rep, whatever, um, which was very helpful, they told me about the cable. So, I went ahead and took apart a Dell trackball mouse. I did have to switch two wires around on here. But uh, I actually made the mouse run off of this here Dell trackball mouse cable. So, how do you fix it? Well, so, Glorious PC Master Race said on the newer mice, they stopped using these cables. And they used a different one. It's their new ascended cable that come on all mice. That's it. That's how you fix it. You just get a new cable. So don't throw away the mouse. Get a new cable. Replace it. Hit restore on your software and everything will be working again. There shouldn't be any more defects on the new mice, supposedly with the new cable. But um, who knows, maybe these are defective too. But from what I understand, all new mice that ship out won't have this defect. So hopefully this helps you fix your new mouse. It's a very nice mouse. It'd be a shame to throw it away. And uh, if you learn how to fix it, thanks for watching.